I hope that um, all you guys have your passports. Um, I just found out that all of you guys were going to travel with us to Italy, so I'm excited about that um, as we take this trip tomorrow. But it's an exciting time for us. Um, you know, as I, I spoke to the team yesterday after we had a practice, and I talked about just the great, the great opportunity to be able to take a trip to Italy. It's a once-in-a-lifetime thing for us. You know, we're going to use it uh, for many different things, obviously, uh, to come together as a group, um, you know, obviously to, to develop some chemistry, um, some bonding, and also obviously to have the opportunity to be able to play. The practices have been very useful for us. Um, you know, uh, we'll have practice number nine today and practice number 10 in the morning before we leave. But as I said uh, before, I think our guys are really excited about the opportunity and um, it's a great thing for us, you know, you know, I at my age and you guys see I'm an older guy I haven't had the opportunity to go to Italy and so I told the kids that you know this will be a great thing for them and um, I think all of those guys are ready for it so uh, I'll take questions for you guys at this time well we're gonna do a lot of things uh, we'll take boat rides we're gonna go to the Last Supper which I think is really great um, you know and more than anything I, I want us to have the chance just to hang out you know we talked about what our guys is you know, every guy on a, every basketball team or every sports team, they have guys that they hang out with. Uh, I told them that they're not allowed to hang out with their buddy the whole time. They've got to do a good job of meeting other guys on the team and spending some time with them. So I think those type of things will really help us. Is uh, everybody going, or should I say, is anybody not going? Everybody's going. Uh, the only guy who is not traveling with us is Amir. Uh, and obviously, um, I think he will be in Italy himself. Um, but I don't know if we'll cross paths, but everybody that's on the roster is going. You mentioned before you might play four games. Have you nailed down the schedule yet? That's a great uh, question. Um, I wanted to play four games, and I, I tabled it to my assistant coaches, and I think they want to have more fun, so we're only going to play three games um, <laughs> instead of four. But, um, you know, we're going to uh, – I don't – uh, we're going to space the games out, you know, we'll play, you know, one at the beginning, one somewhere in the middle of it, and then obviously um, one towards the end of it. Do you have that nailed down yet? We have it nailed down, but, you know, I don't want to release, obviously, the days that we're playing for some safety reasons for some guys. Do you know what level of competition um, the teams are going to be that you're facing over there? I have no idea. Um, you know, when, whenever you take one of these foreign trips, and we did at Wilmington, um, you know, you hope to get you get the best competition that you can get. Uh, I don't know. Um, for me, uh, the competition, we hope that it's a really good competition. But, you know, if it's not, then certainly we get a lot out of the trip anyway by having the opportunity to play the games. You know, when you practice, and uh, for us, we've had eight weeks of summer school where we're able to work the guys out and then eight practices so far. You get, look, you, you get used to it and you get ready to play against a different color jersey, and I think our guys are ready for that. supposed to be last year before you were here but you know when you're trying to sort of build something from the ground up of culture and expectations to have this as a way to start in August. I think it's great um, you know for me and I think I said last time you know we're, we're trying to blend a lot of different guys together you know when you talk about our transfers and you talk about the returning guys then adding a freshman and then you know just blending those guys together I think it comes at a perfect time for us so uh, you know I, ideally you know, as a coach, sometime you know you get these type of trips. You know, you know, second or third time into your tenure here. But for me, I think it's great because uh, we get to go right away, and I think it'll be very helpful for our guys moving forward. And you know, I, you guys are gonna, you know, you obviously you get some tweets um, from Craig and the gang, and uh, I couldn't tell you what type of lineups we're gonna play. I couldn't tell you how many guys are gonna play. I wouldn't worry about that. I wouldn't panic about it. Um, this trip is for our season. Um, it's a you know it's a gauge to see what we need to work on and the things that prepare us for the season and not so much um, how well we play and you know how many points we score or what we do you know doing that this part in Italy it's so I can see as a coach and get back and just kind of figure out where we need to go and what combinations play well together. Coach, you kind of just touched on it, but <clears throat> with adding these pieces like Braxton, uh, the newest one. Um, how have they looked so far, kind of gelling together with all these these different parts here? Well. We've everybody's had moments where I thought they all played well. Um, Braxton um, has only been in practice a day and a half, so uh, for him it's a little bit different. But you know, most of the guys, uh, 
have been with us for eight weeks, except for a couple guys, C.J. Bryce and, um, and Devin both came in, so they've only had a chance to be with us for four weeks because they started second summer of session school, or summer, summer, su second session of summer school. What do you know about Braxton's availability at this point for next season? We don't. Um, our, our compliance office is um, going to obviously work through his eligibility, and, and that's all I can share at that time about his situation. Is that something you knew was a possibility when, when you were recruiting him, or is that something that kind of came up after he, he got here? We knew it would be a possibility. Not the anxiety, but what security just have anxiety? I just, we, you know, I just, just I don't know who's, I don't know, I don't even, I don't know whose mic this is, but, I, but I'm, I'm, I'm you want me to hold it to you? This is the best one. <laughs> Just forget the rest of them. I'll do this one right here. You know, not so much, and I guess the wrong word is security, but we just don't, I don't feel comfortable releasing, you know, what days we're playing, what we're playing at. Um, I, I just, uh, for, our, you know, us in general, I just want everything to stay private. You will get updates about who we're playing against and, you know, where we're playing after it, but I don't want to release it beforehand. But they are set. In terms of bringing in all these new guys, is the sort of process of finding these guys and, and at an unusual time of the year, has that been easier or harder than you thought it was going to be when you took the job, just in terms of putting together you know, a roster? Well, it's, uh, it's, it's the world that I've lived in before. It's weird because probably um, most coaches in the country will be panicking about the fact that they had to bring in, you know, four or five or six guys. But, you know, my 12 years at Hargrave Military Academy, we had to bring in 12 or 13 guys every year. So I'm kind of used to it. Um, you know, it was uh, the challenge was that when I first took the job, we didn't know who was on the team right away, and obviously waiting on Terry's situation, and then obviously the guys who had put the name in the in the draft and everything else. So, um, for me, it's been it's been fun being able to piece some guys together. I like uh, what my staff has been able to do in a short amount of time, and I like the pieces that we have. In the previous eight practices that, that you've had, where where are you in the uh, process of everybody? Well, I think everybody, uh, for the short amount of time, you know, I told the staff that everybody's giving me tremendous effort. Our guys are working extremely hard. You know, when you're trying to plan for a trip where you're going to play three games in a short amount of time, you can only put in a short amount of offense or defense. And, you know, you'll probably, we probably have a, a fourth of what we'll do for the year in. But I think our guys have bought in. Um, our practices have been very competitive, and that's what I look for. Well, for them, they think they're in great shape. For me, um, I think we got a long ways to go. But, you know, uh, it's tough to say. Um, you know, as a coach, even though I'm a coach that prides ourselves on in being in great condition, you know, you don't want to be in the best condition in July and August. You want it to be towards the season. But I think we're in, we're in good enough shape to be able to play three games. In discussing how comfortable you are putting a roster together, how uh, confident are you in your ability to gauge Well, we, you know, we've tried so many different combinations in practice. I, I play with a big lineup. I play with a small lineup. And, you know, as a coach, when you're trying to figure out your team, you try to figure out what guys play well together, who complements each other. And, and I think we're getting there as a staff. Um, you know, obviously these two more days, um, you know, I've got to concentrate on a few other things. And it's weird because in eight um, practices, you would think that, you know, obviously uh, you get a lot of stuff in, but when you go back, you say, man, guy, you get to thinking that late at night as I was about four in the morning, what else can I put in? Are we prepared to play and, and those type of things? And then you have to say, just put a, a little bit of stuff in and be good at, you know, what you have in right now. And that's what we're doing. Based on the eight practices you've had, how, how healthy does Lennard seem? Is he back close to 100%? Well, only if we will all take our right hand. I want everybody to take your right hand. And I want you to knock on the wood in front of you. Um, he is, um, he looks healthy. Um, you know, certainly, um, you know, when you guys have the opportunity to see him, as I said before, he's changed his body. Um, he's working extremely hard. I'm excited about um, Lenard this year um, because, I, as I talked about, he brings a different element uh, to our team that, you know, obviously they missed in the last year or so. How excited are you to do in game coaching? Well, I think um, I'm excited. Um, 
but, it, but not so much the coaching part. I'm excited to get, you know, get out there and have these guys to see these guys play. And, and really, honestly, um, you know, I, I know it's tough because, you know, I don't put much emphasis in what happens on uh, foreign trips or scores or everything else because we won't have traditional lineups and everything else. I'm excited to, to have the opportunity to see some guys play against different guys because you don't get a good feel because, you know, every day in practice we're playing against our own sets. We're defending our own sets. We're pressing and we're denying passing lanes. So it's different. So you get a chance to play against a different uniform where you'll see different offenses and different defenses. How have guys responded since the spring on about the competitiveness you want to see, the competitive edge you want to try to make sure this team has? And I don't know how much of that is teaching them or demanding of them in practice, but how has that worked over time now that you've had a couple months? You know, this group has been great. You know, it, it's taken, um, you know, I, I would say the first week of the 10 weeks, um, some guys um, bought in quicker than others. And then, you know, by the time we, now that we're getting close to the end, I think everybody's on the same page. But it's been different for everybody, and everybody learns at a different pace. And, and certainly some guys have pushed themselves a little bit earlier to get in better shape. But I, I think we're all getting in shape. Um, as I told you guys before, this is one for where we need to be. Um, certainly when the season comes and uh, we've got a lot of work ahead of us, but I like where we are, wh where we are today. As far as, I guess, not just the conditioning, but the mentality you want, do you think that message has gotten through that they fully understand where you're coming from and what you want? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I, I think everybody understands, and um, I think you're going to have, um, matter of fact, I see them walking in, you're going to have um, Tony and Leonard up here, and you can ask those guys that question, and uh, I hope they answered the right way. <laughs> because I got practice today with those guys. Right, guys? All right. You guys good? Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.